Before we get started with the configuration, I want to show you a couple pages in the manual that I think will make it easier to tell what's going on when we go to the table to, to configure it. Okay, so first I want to show you the different flight modes and it's represented by whether the color is solid or whether it's flashing and what color it is. So when the gyro is completely off, you're going to have a solid red light, LED light on the gyro. When it's in normal mode, which I believe is wind mitigation mode, it's going to be solid blue. Lock mode will be a blue flashing color. Angle mode is the solid violet. Level mode, which will be one of my modes, is going to be a violet color and it's going to be flashing. And then hover mode, which is the vertical mode that I spoke about in the last video, is going to be a, a fast flashing violet colored LED. So that's that, and let's bring up the other one. This is the this is the menu system for it, and it's it's really easy to use the menu system if you've ever if you've ever configured a an ESC using the beep and uh, beep codes and tones from the ESC to enter different different options and set different parameters. This is like a visual version of configuring programming in ESC. Okay, so you're going to, you, in order to get into the menu system, you're going to hold that button down for two seconds and you'll get a fast flashing white light. And then that white light will flash from one to ten times. Okay, and the number of times that it flashes designates the menu item. So if it's flashing once, that's when you're going to uh, press the button if you want to go into your set your wing type so this is where you can set your parameters for wing type which is standard delta wing and v-tail now i'm going to be putting it in my fun cub bush plane so it's going to be standard for the wing type so it has a separate aileron elevator rudder control right or it could be just bank and yank it could just be aileron control and elevator control but standard means there's no type there's no type of mixing of control surfaces like you have with a delta wing or you have with a v-tail if it's set for a standard wing type it'll be solid red color on the light once you enter the menu system solid green will be delta wing and solid blue will be v-tail that's the three options that you have okay so once you enter one of these menus you have five seconds to scroll through the parameters or select a parameter to set and if if nothing is done within five seconds then it exits back out to the menu top menu system again when you see it's reached the point where the white led is going to flash three times then you press the button to get into flight mode and then you're going to have a sub menu and then you're going to get a blue flashing light to designate your sub options in the menu system so you've got for your three position switch it's going to set your flight mode so you've got position one position two and position three okay so position three by default goes to level mode which is the mode that i want as my most restrictive for my initial setup position two is for normal mode which i believe is wind mitigation mode that is the second mode that i want and and the uh, first position is the the uh, gyros completely turned off, which is another option that I want. So the three options here, the three menu, the default menu items for position one, two, and three on your three position switch, are precisely the the items, the flight modes that I want set up on my three position switch: level, normal, and off. We will go ahead and go over to the gyro now that I, ha I have everything connected to it, including two independent servos for my flaps. All right, and I have a master gain dial set up. We'll also demonstrate that, okay? And um, we'll change a couple items in the menu and do the, um, the um, level calibration just so you see how that works. All right, so I'll see you over there. So you can see I have a violet slow flashing light, which means it's currently in level mode. Okay, so in order to get into the setup menu, we want to hold, we want to press down this button and hold it for two seconds, and then we should get a uh, flashing white light. Okay, so we're going to hold that down for two seconds. All right. 
All right, so it flashed once. It flashed once, and then I clicked it again to get into menu setting once. Okay, now it's it's. I waited five seconds, so it's automatically gone back out to the main menu system. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to set up a couple of different different options. All right, so I'm going to wait until we get back to the beginning here with a single flash, and I'm going to go into wing type because I'm also going to use this. There we go. So I'm also going to use this into in a uh, in a delta wing. So it blue says VTAIL, red is um, standard, and solid green is delta wing. So that's how you would change that. And then to get back out, well, you can wait five seconds and it goes back out again. Okay. So I'm going to let it let it get down to menu five, which would be five flashes. Right now we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so the next one. Five. So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to push it. And now it calibrated. Okay, so that's level calibration. All right, now I'm going to go and it kicked back out of the menu system once it calibrated. So I'm going to go back into the menu system again by holding this button down for two seconds. And I'm going to change it, change my wing type back to standard from delta wing because this is going to go on my fun cup. So I'm going to hold it down for two seconds again. Okay, there's a single flash. I'm going to go in. And right now it's green and then blue. And I want it back to red, which is standard. And then wait five seconds. It'll go back out. And then I'm going to let it get down to flight mode, which is three flashes. Right there. And then I'm going to get, this is the sub menu. So now it's going to give me blue flashing lights to let you know position one, position two, and position three, depending on which one you want to set. So I want to go into position three and change it from level mode to angle mode, which is the most restrictive. So I'm going to wait for three blue lights and push the button. And it shows three right now, a solid white level. I'm going to push it again. That means hover. I push it again, and that is solid red off. Press it again. That's solid green normal. Press it again. It is blue lock. Press it again, and it's yellow, which means angle mode. So now position three is angle mode instead of level mode. All right. And then what I'll do is once I'm finished setting any parameters in that subgroup, I hold the button down for another two seconds and we're back out to the main menu again okay all right so um, we have changed the wing type from standard to delta delta to standard we have changed our flight mode on position three from level to angle now I want to go back in again and we've also calibrated it so I want to go back in again when we get to um, three flashing lights and change the angle mode back to level. Two flashes, three flashes is what I want. Okay, so now we're in the sub menu. One, one blue, two blues for position two, and three for position three, which I want. Push the button. Okay, now I'm yellow. I want to cycle it until I'm white and I'm white, solid white. That means level mode. So we're back to level mode again. Okay. So now I'm going to hold the button down for two seconds to back out of the sub menu. Okay. And then hold it down for another two seconds. All right. And now we're, we've exited out of the menu. All of our options have been saved. That is our setup. Now I'm going to zoom out of here so that you can see how I've got everything set up on the transmitter, okay? I've got my aileron servo, elevator servo, rudder servo. I've got a WFLY RF209S 9-channel receiver hooked up to the gyro. It is flashing uh, violet right now 
which means that I am in level mode, which is the which was the is the most restrictive level that I want. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and move our aileron control, and then our elevator, and then our rudder. Okay, and then uh, we'll activate our two servos that we're going to use for flaps. Half flap, zero flap, half flap, full flap. Okay, everything is working. All right, so I currently have it in level mode, which means that it should um, auto level the plane when the, when the sticks are centered like they are now. So I'm going to take the gyro and I'm going to rotate it in the pitch axis. So if you watch the aileron servo, you'll see that the aileron servo is correcting, right? And then if I move it in the pitch axis, we have the uh, elevator servo there, and you can see that it's activating. And then if I rotate it in the yaw axis, you'll see that the rudder servo is moving. All right, so I have my master gain set up on dial S2. So if I... If I turn the gain all the way up, you'll see it's much more dramatic. Right now, I've got it at about 50% on the master gain switch. If I turn it all the way up to maximum and then I, I rotate the gyro in the pitch axis and watch the aileron, see how much, see how much more um, correction the gyro is providing for the control surface now on the aileron with the, with the uh, gain turned all the way up. And the same thing with the pitch axis. If you look at the elevator servo, see how much more it's moving. And then in the uh, yaw axis with the rudder servo, you can see it is also. So here's another thing that I discovered. You know, not only does, the, does this um, master gain switch work just great, which I think is really cool. It, watch what happens when I turn it all the way down. When I turn the master gain dial all the way down to zero, it's like having it in manual mode. It's not moving. It's not correcting at all. So if I turn that back up to about 50%, which is where I had it, you know, the center position of the dial, then, of course, we've got it going again. All right, so my... Um, Flight mode switch, my gyro mode switch is over here on the top of the right hand corner, which is um, SG on the T TX16S. So if I move that to the center position, I've got a solid blue light, which shows that it is a normal mode, which should be like wind mitigation mode. And then if I put it in the lowest position, the least restrictive mode, it's solid red, which means the gyro is completely off now. So I've got the modes configured on the gyro that I wanted. So gyro is completely off. The center position is normal mode, which should be wind mitigation mode. And then the most restrictive mode, we get that slow flashing violet light, which is level mode. So everything is as it should be. I did the calibration here just for demonstration. But the manual states that, you know, you should have this you should have this installed in the plane when you do the level and the vertical calibration, which is what I'm going to do. It was just easier to demonstrate this stuff with it outside the plane. But once I have it installed in the plane, I will do the level and the vertical calibration on the gyro again. I'm really looking forward to taking this out and putting it in my fun cup and, and testing it out. With, I've never had flaps on it. I've never had a gyro in it. So it's going to feel kind of like a new plane to me. That's a wrap on this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Tinker's Lab.